Hello guys, today I am going to show you how you can stop sounding robotic using Eleven Labs. I'll Bro, show you stop it. Please stop it. What is your problem, mister? Bro, you sound like a robot already. Let me handle this. Do you want to make your AI voiceover sound as human as possible? Then you have come to the right place. You might have used Speechify, Well Said, or similar applications. But Eleven Labs is by far the easiest to use and creates the most realistic sounding voices. Although these voices will still have a slight hint of that AI sound. With the right amount of practice, you can significantly increase the similarities between AI and a real voice. So, without further ado, Let's jump right into it. And in this tutorial, we will just cover the text to speech feature of Eleven Labs because the other features are vast and I will make a separate video about them. Okay, so in order to record the perfect voiceover, you first need to have a script. I strongly suggest that you use ChatGPT just for inspiration or cleaning up grammatical mistakes. Because if you copy the entire script from ChatGPT, it would totally give away that it's written by AI. Now coming back to Eleven Labs. This is my script, it's probably 20 seconds long. And if I paste the entire script to Eleven Labs, I am not gonna get the best result. Instead, what I am gonna do is, I am gonna split this paragraph into separate sentences and split the sentences further if I need to. Next, I will manually add the emotion needed for every line at the end of the sentence in a bookish style like this. These are some examples of bookish expressions. You can generate these using ChatGPT and use them to add specific emotions to your voiceovers. You might not achieve the precise emotion or pitch you desire on the initial attempt, but you can adjust these settings according to your needs to enhance accuracy. Although Eleven Labs has put out some definitions of stability, similarity, and exaggeration, I want to explain this in simple terms. Let's start with stability. A low stability gives you a more varied and dramatic pitch, while a higher stability would give you kind of a monotonous pitch. Let's compare both the voices. This is my script. It's probably 20 seconds long, and if I paste the whole script into 11 labs, I am not going to get the best result. This is my script. It's probably 20 seconds long, and if I paste the whole script into 11 labs, I am not going to get the best result. Now, similarity is very different from stability. When you set the similarity to high, the AI will match the pitch to your text prompt. And when you set it to low, it will completely divert from your text prompt. Let's look at this example. I do not have time for your bullshit, he fumed angrily. I do not have time for your bullshit, he fumed angrily. The last setting is exaggeration, and it determines how dramatic your text prompt would sound. Now, this setting is still not perfectly tested, and it makes some voices sound unstable. I recommend you keep this as zero and just play around with stability and similarity. In addition to configuring the settings, it is crucial to manage pauses such that they sound perfect for voiceovers. For tutorial videos or short videos, I highly recommend that you cut out all the blank spaces and pauses while editing your video. But for a story narration, you can add commas and multiple periods between words for better emphasis. That's all from my side, guys. To summarize this video, avoid copying and pasting the entire script into 11 labs. Instead, break it into smaller sentences. Use ChatGPT to identify bookish prompts for each sentence. And set the similarity to high if you want the voiceover to closely follow your prompt. Next, keep the stability setting low to make your voiceover sound more natural. Finally, adjust spaces between words based on the type of video you are creating. If you want to create voiceovers like these, make sure you check out Eleven Labs. The link is in the description. I'd love to know if you have any questions in the comments section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.